It is a privilege to be joined today on the summit by Brett Stanton, who is the head coach for baseball at Mid America Christian in Oklahoma City, and the Evangels have now won their first NCCAA World Series title. Coach, first off, let's just start right there. And a national championship for the Evangels. Congratulations. Well, I appreciate it. And, uh, you know, one of the things that makes this one so important is just the perseverance the guys went through, um, especially, you know, had a great season and up to the end, we kind of floundered quite a bit, getting banged up a little bit and had to take a couple weeks off after getting walked off. And uh, I think we got mercy by Southwest Christian to end our season, which they're a very good team. And for us to be able to bounce back and, and uh, win, win a national title is, uh, it's quite a special feat. Let's talk about then a 3-2 victory over Southwestern Christian, as you mentioned, just up the road from where you are, conference rivals as well. 3-2 victory, you get it in walk-off fashion, no less, and extra innings, 3-2 victory, Carlos Medina with a walk-off single in the 10th. Uh, talk about that win, and that was a back-and-forth game as well. Uh, it was one of the better games I've been a part of. Uh Coach Blackwell over there did a great job with his team this year. Um, it was one of those things where it was almost a shame that one team had to lose because everybody played so well. They threw, uh, you know, Gabriel Figueroa, who was an animal all year and uh, lived up to the billing. He tossed into the 10th inning and just was very tough, as always, to to crack. And uh, we, we – we, Got very fortunate on a steal of home to tie the game in the eighth, and uh, that was a big turning point. And then Carlos Medina was just clutch all game. He, I knew if he got up with a chance to win, I thought he was going to do it because he had just been playing so well. He made some great plays on defense that really kept the game. And uh, our pitching matched as well. Uh, guys coming on short rest, and they did a great job. And it was just a – you almost had to just stay alive long enough to see that finish line. And uh, it's great for the guys to get an experience like that, being kind of just, ooh, just tough, tough games. You know, and Coach, I did want to mention that too, both those things that you, you talked about. Uh, I mean, stealing home to get the game tying run there late in the contest really is a testament to the uh, importance of the game and, and what you're willing to do to try to, to, to get that run to – even things up there and the, the two starting pitchers. I mean, you know, you're combining for like 17 plus innings uh, from that uh, this late in a tournament and, and how big it is because, you know, you're, you're at this point, if you're playing this many games, you're running out of arms. So to get that kind of production on both sides, uh, I think is, is really a big deal. Can you, can you talk about those? Absolutely. And our staff has been great all season they, they've worked their tails off I have great assistants that you know facilitate that and we I think we were tops or somewhere in the tops and walks allowed as a staff and that was a big key to our success because we fielded it very well and when you get to the end of that tournament it's it's almost less about talent as much as it is about just competing and uh, both sides Figueroa and and uh, we had Zane Robo start after being out for almost the whole year. Uh, he gave us two strong innings, got us going. And then Cam Brown, who's been with us since I took over, and I've watched him grow. And he just he's just become such a competitor out there. And he's it was awesome just to watch him go and compete. And that's what you need when you get in these games. It's uh you know good teams you can talent your way to get there, but you need some luck and a little bit of just kind of bulldog mentality to kind of see it through. We're speaking now with Brett Stanton, who is the head baseball coach at Mid-America Christian here on Midwest Sportsnet. I encourage you please to subscribe to the channel. We talk about small college sports and more throughout the Midwest and beyond. We're talking about a team now in the Evangels that has won an NCCAA national championship. Uh, let me mention a couple of players on this team here really quickly, a couple of members of your team then that received All-America status. And, Coach, I'd like you to, to get to talk about both of them. Jan Adamas who is a grad student, who performed well during the tournament as well, 10 for 21, and he had five RBI, and, I mean, he he was really uh, just getting done. Extra base hits as well. Of course, we can talk about his home runs as he tied the single-season record for Mid-America Christian with 14 of those. Had a couple during that five-game stretch, a couple of doubles, a triple too. 
there's it's hard to put into words what Jan means to our school and program. He's the longest player we've had here. He owns almost all the records. Uh, you know, phenomenal young man. Uh, is going to be extremely successful. Uh, has worked his tail off since he was 17 over here, and uh, I'm I'm real proud. And it was one of those things for him to go through kind of the lean years of MACU baseball to kind of stick with the process. And now that we've had some success, he's a huge, you know, part why, but he's going to be missed greatly because I just feel like MACU baseball and Jan Adamas kind of go together. I know everybody in the conference is glad to finally see him go, (laughs) Um, but it's going to be the weirdest thing to get out there on the field in the fall and not see him. Um, I'm sure he'll stop by quite a bit and uh, he, he's got Mac you in his blood. And a, a very tough conference, as you mentioned, sooner athletic conference, tough in, in all sports, but uh, baseball, one of those as well. And, and you had to, to work through conference play to, to get into, you know, the postseason, be able to be playing for, a postseason title as it was. Talk about playing through that league before we get to to another one of your players. Let's let's go there for just a moment. The student athletic play is just really, really tough. And you wind up uh taking on, you know, as we mentioned, Southwestern Christian, a team you yeah. you went four and two against on the season. Uh brutal at the end of the <laughs> at the end of the year, but uh back and forth and and it was just a a, a tough league battle just to get to that position. The, the Sooner Athletic is a great baseball conference. It's, uh, you know, very tough to get through. It's super offensive, a lot of talented players. And, you know, you got just storied programs like OCU, and uh, they're always tough. Um, it, so it's it's always tough to get through. And we got to the end of the season, Tex West, Tex Wesleyan down there in Dallas. They had a great year, and it was coming down to the wire. Our last series, conference series, with us and them for a conference championship and they just beat us. And so we went from like first to fourth in a weekend. And so that was a tough blow. And then, you know, even when we played Southwest Christian in our conference series, uh, they beat us one game and had us down to our last out. And Jan hit a walk off home run in another game. So it was, could have gone either way. Uh, so it's when you when you look at the Sooner Athletic and you see, oh, somebody's 17, you know, or 15 and 12, whatever it is, there's a lot of close games, and that's a good team. They they just were on the losing end a couple more times than not. But uh, very tough. And then, you know, for even like Southwest Christian to lose the series to us, and then we get them in the conference tournament and them just kind of roll us, uh, you know, shows you just – Every day you got to bring it, or uh, you're gonna you're gonna feel it pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> and you uh, you played long enough in in this this year in this postseason, you get to face a team six times. That's a testament to both both teams to get to that point. Uh, one other player I do want to mention is as both uh, Adamas and uh, Noel McGarry Doyle listed as All Americans in the NCCAA. Doyle uh, McGarry Doyle hit 389 of the year, uh, just behind Adamas numbers in a lot of those, including 11 home runs, and and uh, uh, just a, a fantastic season for him as well offensively. Yes, and uh, Noel comes from a great junior college. He played at Southeastern Community College in Iowa, who's in the semifinals for the NJCA World Series right now in Enid. Um, one of my really good friends coaches there, and when he told me about him and Carlos Medina came from the same program, I said, well, I got to get this guy. And, uh, you know, he's came in and he's really kind of found himself, you know, he he feels at home here and has worked really hard. Never have to worry about him as far as uh, competitive and working hard. And he's got some very unique tools. Uh, So he's a special player. And I think, I think we may have seen maybe his worst year here and that's how good I think he can be. Uh, and he keeps us up in the dugout and keeps the life going around the club. And a fantastic player. I can't wait to watch him a couple more years. We well, hopefully get the opportunity to do just that. Coach, as we, we wrap up our time, 39 and 17 overall on the year, you have a national championship to your credit with this season. And of course, for, for your team, for the program, uh, that is a fantastic thing, something that, that will always be with them, always great memories in that, and and what it took, again, to, to get to that point. 
to be able to be there. And I, I actually, I would, I would ask you this really before I wrap it up because I, I wanted to mention this. You know, you you get the walk off uh, to to win three two in the championship that comes off after like just immediately following getting walked off in the previous game in, in which you you had a huge lead coming into the eighth inning. And Trinity Christian rallies, they come back. What did it take then to be able to uh, come back from that point? I mean, you, you give up a seven-run lead in the eighth inning. They walk off in the ninth. And how do you rally your team to be able to say, listen, we've got to put this back together and, and, uh, and finish this? Well, it, it, was, uh, it was a bit of a blow. We knew going into the tournament, if we could get to that third game and I thought it was going to be us in South Coast Christian, whoever won that game was going to be in the championship, no matter what, whether you got to be beat once or beat twice. And uh, I was not looking forward to it when we saw the Tuesday, I think it was the Monday night game was going to be against Trinity Christian because they lost the first game of the world series and fought their way all the way back. I mean, they were on fumes and just kept coming and coming and coming and, uh, we we had some uncharacteristic mistakes in our game, and they capitalized. I give them all the credit in the world for them to come back and be one game away from – after losing their first game, be one game away from making it to the national title game was pretty impressive. But my message was to the seniors, basically, after that game, saying, hey, you get a rare chance of – you're going to get to play for a national title after losing. This mm-hmm. is kind of one of those moments where you get a rare chance to feel what it's like to – screw around and find out uh that's that's basically my message to him was you have felt this now you feel like the world's ending you've got a chance to play for a national title imagine what it's going to feel like when you lose that and they dogpile on the mound it's going to feel pretty rough and uh we had good senior leaders and and the, the club's a, a tough club and it was one of those things where i said Man, I don't want to lose two in a row. And we've been preaching all year. You just got to win your last game. And uh, we, we, we got an opportunity to do so. Well, you did just that. And I, and I, I definitely wanted to remember to ask you that question because I knew that, uh, that that's a, quite a turnaround in a short amount of time to be able to put things back in order. And again, like we've already talked about at this point in a tournament, a postseason tournament, it, it becomes a matter of will almost at, uh, just to be able to go – further i think uh, in in baseball and softball so much more in the postseason and, and it's worth mentioning on that well coach then we, we said 39 and and 17 overall yet you have the hardware now but there are things that uh, can be improved upon and i know there are goals that that are still there so talk about going into i know it's a little early uh, mm-hmm. so but talk about going into the next season and, and how do you take these players into the next year and, and what, are, what are you looking ahead to do now well, right now I'm looking for a little rest. <laughs> but, I know it's uh, early. I know it's early. I just want yeah, to. No, it, it, but in all reality, you know, talent acquisition never ends in college. You, you got to keep getting better players. And we always have a meeting with our guys at the end of the year. And I tell even my number one on the mound, my job is to find a way to get you into the bullpen and recruit what I think can possibly be better. And we've we've done a good job in our three years of you know 24 wins to 32 wins to 39 so we're I thought you know when we took over it was going to be about year four or five where we really kind of get going and it's kind of come ahead of schedule a little bit from mainly due just to the players we got lucky in getting and their temperament and their passion for the for the game and making sure Mac U gets better and better and uh so looking forward we're, we're, we're looking to go win a conference title first. We need to get that done. And uh, we need to get into the NAI playoffs and make a run at Lewiston. Uh, that's what we're recruiting at a high level, I feel like. And I think we'll be, we'll have the pieces in place and we just got to get them here in the fall and, and uh, you know, just, just develop them. That's the biggest part around here is just getting, you know, helping them spiritually, helping them academically. And then, getting them as tough as we can get them and uh, so they can win these, you know, three, two ball games when it's all down to the wire. And uh, our administration does a great job of giving us the resources we need to be successful. Um, Our alumni base is always behind us. So 
it's a it's a very good time to I feel like it's a good time to buy stock in MacU baseball. It's uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's up and coming, I believe. Well, that sounds great, Coach. I'm glad to hear it, and and congratulations on winning that three two game, which you did last week, and an NCCAA national championship for the Evangels. Coach Brett Stanton, thank you so much for taking time with us today here on the Summit. We appreciate your time, and and we will be continuing to watch the Evangels as uh, you get move into years four and five and beyond in your tenure as the head coach there. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for having me.